So I had been doing some searching online and I'd uh, seen some postings about using Magic 3D Easy View with some other software programs. And I thought about the possibility of using it with QLC Plus and did some investigating and found out that you actually can use this program with uh, QLC Plus. There is a demo version of this that you can download from Software Informer, and that's the page you're looking at right now. So if you just do a Google search for Magic 3D Easy View Download, it uh, should come up, um, and one of the choices will be Software Informer. I was able to download it from here. The only glitch that I had uh, when I went to install this, I had to install it, uninstall it, and then install it again. There were some problems with it picking up some of the uh, registration files or that. After the second uh, install, it seemed like it went pretty well, then it's working. So, so but uh, you go to Software Informer to download it. I'll just show you the results here. So I quickly did a, uh, took a setup that I had already done on QLC Plus and um, built a stage out. So what you have to do is basically set up a stage with fi uh, fixtures that you're using in your QLC uh, Plus setup and I'll show you in a later video how to um, install fixtures or pick fixtures anyway. But just a quick view here. So this particular setup, I'm using three rows of ETC Source 4s, kind of like mimicking ETC Source 4. So they have a 36 degree beam. And in the back, back here, I have some Chauvet LED uh, wash lights. Using Magic 3D Easy View, I can actually visualize the beams on the floor in the setup. Uh, to show you here quickly, uh, what I've done, so we have our universes patch here, and I've using the ArtNet universe, and then QLC is sending a signal to ArtNet 1. So if I look at my inputs outputs, I'm doing ArtNet and I'm 10.0.0.9 because that's the IP address of this computer. So I'm running QLC Plus and the program on the same computer. So that's why this program is outputting or in inputting ArtNet at the same address. So my whatever your computer address is. And then I had patched lights in here. I'll just open this up a second and say add fixtures. And you can see where the lights are patched in. So you have to create the fixtures, put them up on the stage, and you have to patch them so they match the patches like I have my source force patched to uh, DMX 1234 11 12 13 14 to 122 then I have my Chauvet RGB LEDs patched at 31 41 51 and then 61 and they have several channels each so you do have to get in, create the fixtures, and then patch them. Once you basically have it though created and placed and then patched, then you can simply connect into my virtual console. And if I put a light on here, you'll actually see it come on on the floor. So this is my first row of lights. You can see those come on. And my second row of source fours. Let me just tilt the stage. and. I like the features of this where I can just grab my mouse and rotate it around. I'm just holding my left mouse button down and I can rotate and click around here. Second row of lights. Third row of lights. And then I took my Chauvet's and I crisscrossed them across the back wall there. And they're all in the same slider here so you'll see all four coming on at the same time. I dim those out. Now you can see if I run some scene cues here that I've created, you can actually see those happening. Scene one, scene two, scene three. I have some fade times built in three seconds here. Scene four, and scene five. Check that out. Can also run queues and it'll display the queue list here. So I'm going to run my queues. Same scenes that I ran over here, so you kind of get the idea. But it is kind of a neat idea if you're one that wants to see something other than a 2D representation of your lights coming off and on. 
and you can use this. Now, it is a demo version as far as they know. Uh, the only limitation of this is that there are some features of it that are disabled. Um, there's no other disclaimers that I can see on there that says that it's like a 30-day demo and it times out. Somebody be able, may be able to let me know if that's the case, but as uh, far as I know, it's a demo version with some disabled features on it. Now, if you want to buy the full version, uh, you can go and buy the full version. I think Software Informer gives you the address of where you can purchase the full version from. So uh, I'll do some other visuals, uh, videos on this, on how to actually create the stage, hang fixtures, and then patch them.